Alright guys, you're watching Johnny Fabs, and today I am going to be working on my hatch again. So, now that I turboed it and got it running good, um, I just forgot about doing the clutch uh, while putting the motor in. So, I probably should have did that beforehand. But, I went ahead and ordered up a competition stage 5 uh, with the extreme uh, pressure plate. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. I'm going to be installing it. And so I'm going to try and set it up, film some some of it. I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube on how to change a clutch. But I'm going to just show you guys since that's what I'm working on today. So without further ado, I'm going to get into it. Alright guys, so we just got pulled the trains down. I don't know if you guys could see that. But now we have access to the clutch. Got the trains out. So I hope you guys seen that. If you guys don't know how uh, to do it, you just have to pull the axles out. Um, pull the shift linkage down from the chassis. Um, trans bolt and then all the bolts that mount uh, the trans to the, cha uh, to the motor. Then I had to like take all this off to get some room to work and then disconnect the starter wire and the speed sensor and the hydraulic uh, slave cylinder for the clutch. And uh, now we have access to the clutch. I'm going to go ahead and take that old one off and uh, put, the new, uh, put the new stage 5 on and hopefully this is going to hold all the power. So yep, gonna get at that and uh, we'll get to it. I just pulled the old clutch off. Here's a look at it. It's a pressure plate. And then here's my new clutch. It's a four pop stage five sprung. It comes with a bearing and uh, alignment tool. And then the extreme uh, pressure plate competition clutch. So yep. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that in and uh, torque it down and then put the trans back in. So I went ahead and took the flywheel off, took these bolts off. That was a 17 millimeter 12 point um, for the flywheel bolts. Um, I went ahead and took that off. I thought I could get that bearing out, um, but no, you have to take it off and pull it out from the back side. So I'm going to go ahead and put that um, new bearing in and then uh, I'm probably going to hit this front side with the DA and try to smooth it out. That way, uh, you know, it's not really scarred up, but just to clean it up for the new clutch, I don't want any problems. So, yep, I'm going to get this bearing changed out, clean this up, and then go ahead and reinstall everything. So I just went ahead and put the flywheel back on. Um, put the new bearing in. Uh, I also hit the uh, surface right here with the DA with a uh, 220 grit. 
and just smoothed it out that way there was no grooves or anything that might damage the clutch so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off and then uh, start installing the new clutch and always use this tool that way uh, your clutch is lined so yep gonna get to, get to it Alright guys, so I just got that uh, clutch bolted up, hope you guys seen that, I know it's a little dark under there, but one main thing to remember is when you're tightening that pressure plate down, always use this, and then, uh, yeah, it's that 10 millimeter, uh, 12 mil, uh, 12 point socket, so yep, I'm going to throw the trans back in, bolt that up, get all the mounts, and uh, axles put back in, and we're gonna go ahead and try it out. Alright guys, so we went ahead and got the transmission bolted up. We got the axles back in, everything put together, put the tires back on. Um, so that's probably gonna be it for the um, clutch install. But um, when I was when I had the transmission out, I went ahead and took the thermostat out and put a new one in because it wasn't opening, so this lower hose was not getting hot. So I went ahead and put a new thermostat in and once I got the car on the ground and water in there and I was trying to bleed it out and I still the thermostat never opened and the temp gauge was getting pretty high. So right now I went ahead and pulled the thermostat housing off. This is the, the uh, thermostat I had in there. And then, so I went ahead, that was from AutoZone, I went ahead and ordered a genuine uh, Honda thermostat, so hopefully this one should work out better. If not, I'll have to uh, see what I can do, maybe run without a thermostat for now. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to install this uh, thermostat, and then we're going to get the car back on the ground. I just have it leaned up on the lift. That way, most of the water didn't come out when I took the thermostat off. So, yep, I'm going to get into that, and we'll go from there. So, I got the rubber on the thermostat, and from what I've been told is this little cutout that this part needs to go in there, and then those two little rubber nipples need to go. There's two little slots on the thermostat down here. Put those in there, and then you should be all set. Alright guys, so I got that thermostat in and I went ahead and filled up the radiator and let the car run with the cap off. Um, it finally started to heat up that lower hose so I know that uh, thermostat's opening and I could watch the temperature drop. So, But now the fan isn't kicking on and I could put power to this fan wire right here and the fan will kick on. So I know the fan's good and I checked the fuse. Um, right here that blue one and uh the relay i took the relay out and i could jump out 
power and the fan would turn on. So my guess is that relay's bad that's right here. I took it out. Um, so I'm going to get a new relay for that and hopefully the fan will work with the sensor or uh, So hopefully that will work and but I think that's going to be it for this video installing the new Stage 5 with the extreme pressure plate got all the axles everything put back together um, so I was told that I need to drive the car for about 500 to 1500 miles break the clutch in before I put any hard pulls or anything like that so I'm gonna have to drive it a little bit hopefully I'm gonna get a base map here uh, for the turbo setup so I can drive it and then eventually we'll go to the dyno I know we're getting really close um, another update uh, I will be getting new wheels and tires so stay tuned for that video and uh, so yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. Please uh, hit that like button. Please subscribe for more content. And uh, peace.